Alvin, we'll just go ahead and get this out of the way. What's it like uh, th- been this week going up against Alabama, knowing that's, you know, your former college? You know, uh, kind of treated like every other week. But, you know, ob- besides the obvious fact that that's my old school. But, uh, you know, it'll be fun this week um, just being able to see those guys, you know, because I'm still good friends with a lot of them. Love those guys. Uh, but, you know, we want to win. So, <laughs> we might not be friends after the game, but it's all good. Kyler, uh, Butch said before the Florida game that this year, as opposed to the first time you guys went down there under him a couple of years ago, you really you know, had the mentality that you could win that game. Is there a difference between this trip to Tuscaloosa and the one two years ago for this group? Oh, yeah, it's a lot different. Um, when, we went down la- when we went down two years ago, it was almost like survive. You know, it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't the same. We, we were losing a lot more then. Um, and it it had almost come a usual thing to lose, but it, and now it's different. You know, we've turned this around, and, and we believe in ourselves, and we believe in each other, um, everyone around us, everyone in the organization that that we can be successful. Alvin, uh, but you kind of told the story of how you became the punt returner. Did you expect to be a punt returner before the season started? No, uh, never. <laughs> like I said uh, before, I. You know, I, I've never returned punts in high school, Little League, uh, junior college, never. So uh, when I got here, you know, they told me to go back and catch punts, and I'm kind of like, all right, you know, I'll do it. And then just uh, in that game, uh, being able to return those punts kind of gave me more confidence. Like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call myself a punt returner now. <laughs> Alvin, you said you're kind of treating it like any other week, but when you're playing former teammates or t- team play – team you used to play for how much extra motivation is there or is that a factor at all do you feel any extra motivation this week uh extra motivation to win another game with my teammates yeah you know uh, play like I said played there uh enjoyed my time there here now loving um loving being able to be with these guys you know here at Tennessee um you know it'll be a fun it'll be a fun experience just being in, in Brian Denny you know um but, you know, at the end of the day, we got a job to do over here. So, you know, that's what I'm focused on. Me and my team focus on getting another win. Alvin, sad news this morning with Altie Ten Pennies passing. Just what are your favorite memories of your time with Altie? I know he was part of that class with you with four high school All-Americans all signing with Alabama. You know, uh, this morning I kind of got the news, so that's what I'm kind of dealing with right now. So, uh, you know, uh, Kyler, you're a Knoxville guy. Can you give us a sense of what this rivalry means to the people in, in Knoxville and, and then you coming from both sides, being a Knoxville guy and now playing for Tennessee? Uh, it, it's huge. Um, you know, everyone talks about you know, Florida rivalry or, or Vandy rivalry, but um, there's just a little bit different feeling about it, Alabama. You know, there, there's more tradition to it. Um, there's There's – a lot of stuff that goes into it more than just the game. Um, you know, people people really feel for this game. You know, they they wait for it all year. So, uh, you know, with that in mind, you got to have kind of a different mentality going into it, and different mentality to to win the game and your preparation. So, um, I think that's what helps drive me a lot. Is you know, being from here and, and growing up a UT fan is thinking about all the other fans that I know. Um, my family, and, and, and how important this is to them. I'll go, ba- go back to Danny's question about LT. You know, uh, just back to that, uh, you know, who came in the same class, running back, same room. You know, me and me and LT kind of went through the same things at Alabama. Um, you know, he ended up transferring, I transferred. But LT, nothing but love for LT. You know, I, t- I just – what what was so sad is I talked to him le- actually yesterday, and just to wake up and get that news was heartbreaking. And you know, I know those guys over there are hurting, but you know it hurts me a lot. Uh, but you know, I know he's he's resting easy now, so I just wanted to say that. 
uh, just to kind of roll off of that is what what do you remember about your time at Alabama? Obviously, it didn't work as well as you wanted it to, but what kind of happened out there, and what did you sort of learn from that year? Uh, you know, a lot of things happened to Alabama, but um, uh, just appreciative of my time there. You know, um, appreciate the coaches and 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 the players uh, for you know embracing me while I was there. But you know, now here at Tennessee, having a good time, enjoying the success with my teammate. Um, and just ready to keep cont uh, enjoying the success. For Kyler, just with all the un just a little bit of uncertainty on the offensive line, which has shown situations when people get banged up. Just how have y'all been kind of adjusting with the different combinations and just working together? Uh, well, we kind of go through these scenarios every day. Um, almost everyone. Now, I can say everyone on the offensive line can play multiple positions. So that isn't a huge concern about switching guys around. I mean, I played three spots last year, and other guys can do the exact same thing. And we see it as, you know, the standard and expectation that we hold in the O-line room is the same for everyone. So wh whoever is going to be on the field, whoever is going to play, whoever is going to start, is is going to have to keep to those standards and, and be – the O linemen that we want them to be. So, Ky Kyler, as a follow up to that, if it is a couple of those young guys, what is the advice you have for them against playing against Alabama's defensive front? I is it any different than playing against another SEC front? And, and what would your advice to Jack and Chance be if they have to play out there? Uh, no, it's it, it's not any different. I mean, every SEC team recruits really good D linemen. I mean, it's. It's what it is. I mean, you recruit big guys, which they have. They recruit um, fast guys, which is what they have. So, I mean, it's it's the same each and every week in the SEC. So they can't look at it any different. Um, and the kind of advice that I get to them is, you know, they're just guys out there. I mean, it, you know, that's the thing about about playing in the SEC is is in being a freshman is you kind of get to it as, oh my God, these guys are so much better than I am, or you know, so much more experienced or uh, so much more athletic or strong. And it's like you got recruited here to do something. You got it recruited here to play football. So you can play against these guys. You got to have confidence and, and be able to succeed. Alvin, not too many guys get to see both sides of the Tennessee-Alabama rivalry. Do you do you share anything with teammates this week about kind of how Alabama views things and, and maybe more specifically about this game? You know, is there anything you can help as far as personnel or schemes with, you know, helping helping Tennessee identify some things they did? Oh, yeah. You know, I, like you said, I've seen both sides of it. So just throughout this week, uh, at the, through the beginning of the week, guys have been asking me just about, you know, the the mood over there or, you know, more specifically guys like certain guys. You know, matchup wise, um, kind of the um, demeanor of those guys as far as playing. So I've been kind of an in insider, <laughs> being able to give these guys some information about them. But, you know, uh, it comes down to Saturday. So we've got to keep having a great week of practice, uh, great practices, and, you know, put it, put it on the field on Saturday.